it's time that our Jennifer Lopez divorce Scaddenfruit is sexist. As Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's relationship appears to have hit the rocks, interest in their pairing couldn't be higher. Getting back together after nearly 20 years apart was one thing, but getting back together, getting married, and then swiftly breaking up again. Well, that's pop culture crack. Yet it's not just a potential relationship breakdown that's piquing interest, it's specifically Joe's breakdown. After multiple reports of trouble in paradise, the singer pulled the brakes on her already flailing U.S. tour this week, citing heart sickness, with Live Nation reps confirming that Lopez is taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends. The response to Jill canceling her tour has hardly been one of quiet concern and a withdrawal of thanks, but more a gleeful aha moment from the internet, which seems to be delighting in her downfall. Ha! Huh, look at her crumble. They jeer. We predicted this, and now it's happening. What geniuses we are. He can't stand her lifestyle. He's worn down. She's too ambitious. She spends too much money. Now I'm not exactly one to have instant sympathy for millionaires, but there's something about the Joe situation that just reeks of sexism, and I rather enjoy her unique brand of misguided romanticism, so I will come out fighting for her just this once. Firstly, have you seen Affleck recently? The man is walking misery, and the internet loves it. When he exhales a new via a cigarette and drinks endless Dunkin' Donuts milkshakes, we're on his side he's a relatable sad clown. When Jill cancels her tour and gets mocked by her co-stars on a press tour, she deserves it, or so the internet thinks. In fact, Affleck has done far less than Jill to earn the strangely sympathetic public opinion he has now. Yes, Jill made a frankly unhinged film and documentary about her love affair with Affleck, but he was in it too. Plus, let's not forget when he and Ana de Armas also made that awful film about how he liked to watch her have sex with other men in 2022. Fictional, of course, but my point stands. What has he done recently to earn this bizarre fondness? Air, the tender bar. Come on. Jill was in Hustlers. She produced Hustlers. She did a whole pole dance to Theon and Apple in Hustlers. She led the rom-coms that these netizens grew up watching. She wrote Jenny from the block